Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has five scriptures. The first is the book of Isaiah, chapter 21, verses 4 through 9 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, My heart panted, fearfulness affrighted me. The night of my pleasure hath he turned into fear unto me. Prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go, set a watchman, let him declare what he seeth. And he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, a chariot of asses, and a chariot of camels. And he hearkened diligently with much heed, and he cried, a lion, my Lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, and I am set in my ward whole nights. And behold, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he hath broken unto the ground. The second scripture is the book of Amos chapter 8 verses 10 through 12 in the King James Version Bible and it reads, And I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head and I will make it as the mourning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. The third scripture is the book of Revelation chapter 17 verses 1 through 5 in the King James Version Bible and it reads, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. The fourth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verses 15 through 18 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire for God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled and the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth the fifth and final scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verses 1 through 10 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, 
having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Now for the message received from the Lord God on December the 21st, 2022. Lamentations and prayers begin for those yet to have been awakened by these final days. It is a catastrophe, a calamity beyond normal scale to derail the upcoming holiday. Many will well and weep and pray to me to save them from the aftermath of the calamity. The ocean will override its banks over a top of the shoreline the American coast, put on sackcloth and pray to be accounted worthy before the day the disaster strikes the shoreline of America. Mystery Babylon is revealed and reviled by me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For her iniquity, she must pay the price. The signing of the law of the land has forced my hand to come down hard as a vice to clamp down upon the perverse law of the land. My beloved children, it will be a travesty. An earthquake of high magnitude will shake the land of your nation, America. The day is at hand and yet is right around the corner in the heartland. Warn her, the people of the four corner states of the Midwest United States. It will bring forth a great shaking, a great quaking, for the land will roll and break apart. Take heed and move away from the epicenter of the four corners of the four states before it's too late. Be ready now. Don't wait to get on bended knee, many judgments are befalling thee, America. After judgments comes captivity. Believe on me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I will set you free and take you up with me to paradise on New Jerusalem. Repent and pray today. Know me by reading my word in the book's of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Don't wait too long for judgments will fall soon! Exclamation point. With undying love, Jesus, your only Lord and Savior. So 
this message has a lot of information packed into it. And when I received it, I was very astonished by it. But I did find some information about the Four Corners area, which includes the states of Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. It says the Four Corners is a region of the southwestern United States consisting of the southwestern corner of Colorado, southeastern corner of Utah, northeastern corner of Arizona, and northwestern corner of New Mexico. Further down it reads, it is the only location in the United States where four states meet. Most of the Four Corners region belongs to semi-autonomous Native American nations, the largest of which is the Navajo Nation, followed by Hopi, Ute, and Zuni tribal reserves and nations. The Four Corners region is part of a larger region known as the Colorado Plateau and is mostly rural, rugged, and arid. In addition to the monument, commonly visited areas within Four Corners include Mon Monument Valley, Mesa Verde National Park, Chaco Canyon, Canyons of the Asians National Monument, and Canyon D. Shelley National Monument, the most populous city is the, in the Four Corners region, is Farmington, New Mexico, followed by Durango, Colorado. And here's a description of the Four Corners Monument. It says here, the Four Corners Monument marks the quadrupoint in the southwestern United States, where the states of Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah meet, it is the only point in the United States shared by four states, leading to the area being named the Four Corners region. The monument also marks the boundary between two semi-autonomous Native American governments, the Navajo Nation, which maintains the monument as a tourist attraction, and the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe Reservation. And then it speaks to the origins of the four state boundaries. It says the origins of the state boundaries marked by the monument occurred just prior to and during the American Civil War, when the United States Congress acted to form governments in the area to combat the spread of slavery to the region. So I find that kind of ironic with this message, with the slavery and this message speaking to captivity after these calamities and catastrophes. It says here, many will will and weep and pray to me to save them from the aftermath of the calamity. The ocean will override its banks over top of the shoreline, the American coast. To me, that sounds like a tsunami. Put on sackcloth and pray to be accounted worthy before the day the disaster strikes the shoreline of America. Mystery Babylon is revealed and reviled. By me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for her iniquity, she must pay the price. The signing of the law of the land has forced my hand to come down hard as a vice to clamp down upon the perverse law of the land. I believe that's that law 42. And... I'm trying to find a part where it starts to, to tell you about the captivity. Further down, the day is at hand and yet is right around the corner in the heartland. Warn her, the people of the four corner states of the Midwest United States it will bring forth a great shaking, a great quaking for the land will roll and break apart, take heed and move away from the epicenter of the four corners of the four states before it's too late. Now it mentioned Farmington, 
I believe was Farmington, New Mexico, and Durango, Colorado is closest to that epicenter. Further down, be ready now, don't wait to get on bended knee. Many judgments are befalling thee, America. After judgments comes captivity. Believe on me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I will set you free and take you up with me to paradise on New Jerusalem. And he's telling you, you to repent and pray today. Know me by reading my word in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Don't wait too long for judgments will fall soon. And at the beginning of the message, it mentioned... Lamentations and prayers begin for those yet to have been awakened by these final days. It is a catastrophe, a calamity beyond normal scale to derail the upcoming holiday. So I don't know if it's that is going to happen right before he takes us up just to wake people up. I would think that might be the case around the holiday and then a major catastrophe or calamity and then captivity because of it says here the signing of the law of the land has forced my hand to come down hard as a vice to clamp down upon the perverse law of the land so this is the message for today I waited for at least, I I think I had five confirmations just because the message was so detailed and had so much information packed into it that I wanted to be sure before I put this message out. And as always, in any message that I receive from the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, please take it to the Holy Spirit yourself for confirmation in your spirit, especially if you're living in in the areas that I mentioned, the coastline, I would I would not rule out either coastline because it didn't really specify, as well as the four corners, the Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah area, and Farmington, New Mexico, and Durango, Colorado. It spoke specifically about the epicenter to move away from there. So please take heed. Repent and pray because judgments, it sounds like judgments are coming our way to Mystery Babylon, which is America. And may God bless you.